Hello folks, Emmanuel here. Today we will learn how to install and use the latest version of the Sustance Painter Labeling for Blender. You can find it in my Gumroad page. And remember, if you're a patron, contact me before purchasing to get a discount coupon. The links are in the description. So let's get started. To install the plugin, you need to download version 3.0.0 or greater and extract it. Once extracted, you'll find a folder called Shell SP Link. If you open it, the contents should look something like this. Now go to your documents, Adobe, Substance 3D Painter, Python plugins, and copy the Shell SP Link folder that you just extracted to this path. If you have an older version of the plugin installed, be sure to fully delete it before installing the new version. Now open Substance Painter, and you should see a new window called Show Little Substance Painter Live Link in the UI. If not, you should see the plugin icon on the right menu. If you still don't see it, verify the plugin is enabled in the Python menu, and if it's not, then just enable it. Now the plugin will be available in Substance Painter. After installing it, the next step will be to verify the license and to install the Blender client. So let's open the plugin window and click on the Clients tab. Now in the key text field, write the license you got when purchasing the product and click Verify. If the Verify works, the email will be filled and you will get a success message in the Substance Painter log. Then, to install the client, go to the Blender option and select the version of Blender you are using in the dropdown. If you have installed any add-on previously, you might need to create the add-ons path. It should look something like this. Blender Foundation, Blender, your Blender version, Scripts, Add-ons. Now you can install it there. Now select the path and check it's the correct path by clicking the folder button. Finally, click the Install button and you will get a success message in the Painter's log. After installing the client, open Blender, go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons and search for Shuttle. Enable the add-on and restart Blender. And now the plugin will be ready to be used. Now to use the plugin, we have two main workflows. We can either have a project already open in Painter and we want to send the geometry and the texture sets to Blender. Or we can have a 3D model in Blender and we want first to send the model to Painter, texture it, and then set the materials back to Blender for rendering. For example, let's open Blender and Painter. Once you open both apps, they are instantly recognized and connected. You can see it because they both have a unique ID. And both have a drop-down where you can select which app is currently the destination. The communication link works this way because it's possible to have multiple Blender or Painter instances at the same time. And this way they can communicate with each other in any way you need to. So let's select the sphere and check it has a material with a proper name since this name will be the one used by Painter to name the texture set. Now, before clicking Send, let's check our options. First, we can select the type of normal map that we want to use in the project, OpenGL or DirectX, then the project based resolution, the tangent space, if we want to include the cameras, let's keep enabled that one, and the type of workflow. There are two types of workflows, the material base, that is also called default, or the UDIMS workflow. For this sphere, let's select the default. And finally, if we have some maps for the model, like when you make maps from high poly to a low poly model, we can select them. So let's do that. Now, before clicking send, since we enabled the include cameras, let's select the camera and the sphere and click send. Both the sphere and the camera will be sent to Painter. And the mesh maps you selected will be automatically added to the texture set settings. So now you can start working on the materials. Now, to send the materials back to Blender, once you finish texturing, you need to select the Blender instance, the render, in this example, we will select Cycles, now the Color Space Workflow. Right now, I have ACES on Blender and Painter on a default sRGB format, so I will select sRGB2 ACES. And in the Material Preset, I will choose Standard. 
Now let's select the export path for the textures. The format, depth, the resolution, and the padding. And in the set sections, let's enable the sphere texture set. We could also select to send back the 3D model, but since we already have it in Blender, we can keep it disabled. Before clicking send, let's select the channels that we want to be exported. So we go to the channels tab, and as you can see, the basic channels are already enabled. Let's say that we don't want the height this time, so let's disable it. But we do want the anisotropy level and angle, so let's enable those. And now we can click send. And the material will be imported and assigned to the Blender model automatically. It's important to notice that in order for the auto assign to work, the texture set name, in this case Sphere, needs to fully match the name of the material assigned to the 3D model. Well, that's all for now. I will publish more videos soon detailing some of the extra features of the plugin, so don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you next time.